Hey YouTube, this is TechPack9 and I'm going to be showing you how to install the latest and greatest Jelly Bean version 4.1.1 on your Samsung Galaxy Nexus phone, GSM Unlocked. So let's get started because I know you guys really want to try this out. It's a really great or great software version. Let's do this. First thing you need to do is download this file right here. It's called Bixi underscore Mangro over the air. So that'll be in the description like always. So check download that file right now and keep watching the video or whatever you want to do. Once you got that file downloaded, we're gonna be transferring that file into our internal memory card of our phone. So let's just do that. Now plug it in via micro USB and the other side through USB port onto the computer. Now before I go any further, I want to let you know that you must have Clackboard Mod Recovery installed. If you don't have it installed, as you can already see, there'll be a little annotation right here on how to get Clackboard Mod Recovery onto the Samsung Galaxy Nexus GSM and CDMA. So once you got it installed, you can go back to your computer and we're going to be transferring the file to our internal memory. So here's our internal memory. Here's Bixi, the zip file. And let's just transfer it. And I already have it installed, that's why it says this, so I'm not going to copy it. So just transfer it into your phone's internal memory. And once you got that transferred, you're just going to unplug your phone. So let's unplug it. And we are going to be powering it off. So just hold on the volume button and power it off. And we are eventually going to be entering into Clackboard Mod Recovery Mode. Alright, so first thing we need to go is, is into fast boot mode. So we're going to be holding the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. Just keep holding it down until you see the start screen. Alright, you're at the start screen. Press the volume up twice to enter into recovery mode and power to select it. And now you're going to be entering into clockboard mode recovery mode. Alright, before we install the actual zip file, we need to wipe everything so you don't get any errors when you install the new file. So we're going to do go to wipe data slash factory reset. This will reset or this will clear all your data on your phone's internal memory. It's pretty obvious that you already know that because you're deleting all the data, but I just want to tell you that again. So give this a few seconds until this is finished. Alright, finished. Now we're going to go back to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And all the way down to Big C Mangro over there. Sign.zip. Choose that. Choose yes. And this will be pretty quick. It will only take it will take only about a minute. So bear with me. There we go. It's so much better. So you just wait till this is done, reboot it, and you're good to go. And I will show you that you're on 4.1.1. Alright, it's done. So now we're going to go to go back and reboot system now. Now it's going to be reboot, and the first thing you can tell right away is the boot animation is different. So I'm going to be showing that it's just an X with the red, green, yellow, and blue lights. As you can see right there. That is the very first telling sign that you're on Jelly Bean. So we'll wait till this boots up. This will take a little bit of time just because it's the very first time you're installing Jelly Bean or you're upgrading from 4.1 Jelly Bean. So bear with me till this is finished. Alright, just finished booting up. And the first thing you can see right away is that there's no little Android here as you usually see when you first bought your phone on the setup screen. So I'm just going to be skipping through all this and show you that it's on the actual official 4.1.4. 4.1.1 version. If 
finished. All right, let's go into settings. And show you. I'll do to about phone. And there you can see it's 4.1.1. You can see the build number, everything. Uh, the Google Samsung Nexus. So this was Type 59 on how to get the official over the air update by transferring to Clackwood Mod Recovery 4.1.4. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this was a big help and this was simple. If you have any questions, as always, just comment below and I will, all, I will always respond to you no matter what question it is. And if it's, uh, if it's a question on something else not related to this video, then just email me and I will be happy to help you out. So thanks for watching guys and if you want to help me out even more, please don't forget to subscribe as it does help me out a lot. Thanks guys for subscribing, rating, commenting and all that and just watching this video and hopefully this helped you out. Thanks guys.